Everyone is familiar with bird watching, but did you know that people spend their time also looking for amphibians and reptiles? We call this field herping, and those of us who are avid field herpers like to keep up with what we find as well, just like bird watchers do. But those of us who enjoy field herping are facing a crisis similar to the one that sports hunters faced over a century ago. Throughout much of the 20th century, prized game species such as deer and turkey had collapsed and were entirely missing from large parts of their natural range due to poor land use decisions and overhunting. But hunting is considered part of our cultural heritage, so hunters got motivated, they got organized, and they gave birth to the modern wildlife conservation movement. They demanded that scientific researchers provide answers and that land managers take action based on those answers. And most importantly, they threw their support into wildly successful nonprofit groups, such as the National Wild Turkey Federation and Whitetail Unlimited. Herpetologists will probably never be as powerful as sports hunters of the 20th century, but we do have a voice and we are motivated by the same respect for our natural and cultural heritage. By supporting groups like ARC, you're making an investment that will enhance our field herping experience for many generations to come. Again, this is Whit Gibbons reminding you that the great outdoors is the foundation of all life on Earth, including yours. Do your part by supporting ARC, the Amphibian and Reptile Conservancy. Mm -hmm.